Hey guys, how to truck driver 101.com. Alright, basically we're going to look at my bag. These are all my shirts, underwear, and socks. This I think is a 24 inch bag or a 42 inch. Some, oh man, 24 to 42. <laughs> no, I think this is this is just about a regular size duffel bag. Uh, pretty, well, it's, pretty, yeah, it's the big one. It's the really big one. It's the AI Go. I got it on sale, but don't buy them unless they're on sale because they're normally like 150 bucks. I got this for 50. So, and up top here, I keep my toothbrush wrapped in a uh, cloth. And it's just more clean socks in there. Right here, nothing but washcloths and extra socks. You know, I keep my deodorant. And this is just socks, like I said, socks and shirts. You know, and this is just, you know, I'm a big guy. These mostly 3X shirts. So, obviously you can see, if I can get this in here, you can probably get everything in here. I can also, now if you were going on training, I recommend you just take this bag. I would roll my clothes up tighter. If I rolled all my clothes up and all my washcloths up top, I could fit all this stuff by right here. I'd have room for a sheet and laptop on this side and uh, that'd be it that's what I would bring if I was going with a trainer again this is the I want to say it's the 42 inch bag I tell you what I'll, I'll I'll post the right number of what size bag this is guys I'm sorry I should know that but as you can see that's what I fit in there think about that I'm a 3x guy so if I could fit all this all my shirts I mean this is a good more than a week worth of clothes plus 50 washcloths about five right here and all in here um, I replace my washcloths about every two to three weeks. I replace my socks about uh, twice a month. Uh, socks and washcloths only gonna run you about, you know, ten bucks, twenty bucks, something like that. Uh, the reason I do that is because washcloths wear out quickly, and if I have to wash something off the floor that I spilled, I want to get things done, you know, and just wipe it up and get it over with. And I ain't gonna worry about, oh, I ruined that washcloth. I just throw it out and get another one. It just makes more sense to me. I understand guys out there going, no man, you ain't doing like, it's like, dude, you do what you do, I do what I do. <laughs> you know? So, alright, that's like 40, so again, all the clothes, all the t-shirts and stuff. T-shirts, you know, I buy at least one t-shirt a week. I think every driver should do that. Buy your one t-shirt a week. Cause they always get holes and stuff in them. Get oil on them. Alright. Now, as you can see, this is the bottom. And again, my first aid kit's in here. And I always tell you guys, when I see these markings, this is like white out. With these markings, even though they look like scribble, these markings mean that I've replaced something in the bag. So I can tell you, like, I've replaced whatever right here, and I've replaced whatever's right here, and I've replaced whatever's right here, whatever's right here. That's my little silly system. <laughs> and I've replaced whatever's through this part right here. Basically, you want to mark, you want to put something on there. Sometimes I used to put like numbers and stuff, but sometimes I just mark it, you know, just throw stuff on there. Uh, but it just lets me know I replaced like probably the tal Tylenol, the ibuprofen, um, probably some band aids or whatever's right there. Uh, here is the, um, here's the, here, let me just show you guys the inside of this. I got this from Costco a while ago, but you got to remember to replace all the stuff. See? See, see right here these little compartments so you always want to mark the other side that's what I do and I probably got pit marks on this side so but that's it I don't want it to fall out because some of that stuff because I bought it out the store sometimes you can't get it in there good I always try to mark you know as you can see it's first aid uh, it's my fabric softener sheet I just throw one in there out to the dryer occasionally there you go that's my bolt cutters use these anytime you go somewhere and you got a a bolt seal, which is basically like a bolt that goes through the uh, little loop. This is about five pairs of pants. Again, I'm a big guy. These are 48s. So, you know, 48, 50s. Uh, so a big guy like me that's wearing that big size, you know, if I could fit five pair of pants and still have room for this. Plus, I got, you know, socks at the bottom. As you can see here, let me show you socks. See, socks all at the bottom there. So, basically, that's a 42 inch bag for a big man. I could carry this and not even, and 
maybe put this in here or get a smaller kit and I could probably put my laptop down here put my laptop up there like I said that's the way you should go if you were a trainer you want to go light when you get your own truck you can do what you want I got all my stuff out here for the last computer video so I'm gonna do that next and that's about it and I'll explain all this stuff too so and oh and you can get this I just want to carry you a sheet and you want to carry like good um, pillowcase and you can also want to carry you a good um, little comforter um, uh, pillowcase type type thing it's got a pillow top basically I use it like a sheet it's real comfortable uh, at night especially cool you know it's not um, not hot so I'm finna do the computer video as you can see I just yanked everything out of my bag and uh, normally I keep all this stuff in smaller bags you always want to do that so everything is nice and neat but trying to show everybody everything so check out the new computer next computer video and you'll see what this and everything else is all right guys that's how to truck driver101.com bye